Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station, Power carrying the KPLO payload to a ballistic lunar transfer orbit. So we are beginning to throttle down the engines on the first stage to prepare for a period known as Max-Q. During this period, the vehicle is going to experience the highest amount of aerodynamic stresses vehicle on the vehicle. Vehicle Max Q. And there was Max Q. So the engines are coming back up to full power. Uh, we have three events coming up in quick succession in about a minute. Uh, first up is MECO, that stands for Main Engine Cutoff, followed by Stage Separation, and then SES-1, which stands for Second Engine Start-1. Main Engine Cutoff is where the first and second stages, oh, excuse me, engine chill Main started. Engine Cutoff is where the nine engines on the first stage will shut off in preparation for Stage Separation. That is where the first and second stages will separate from one another. The first stage will make its way back to our drone ship to attempt its sixth landing. And the second stage will continue with SES-1, which is where the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage will start up and continue to propel our KPLO satellite to its desired orbit. Those events are coming up in about 10 seconds. For now, we are enjoying some excellent, excellent views of Falcon 9 during its ascent phase. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Uh, we saw the confirmation of stage separation and uh, the ignition of the Merlin vacuum engine on the second stage. Uh, coming up in um, a few seconds, we're going to be looking for fairing deploy. Uh, those fairing halves will separate from the top of the second stage and make their way back to Earth. Fairing separation confirmed. And off they come. So uh, those two fairing halves are now falling back to Earth. Uh, those are the fourth flight for both of these fairing halves, and we are going to be attempting to retrieve them with our, with the help of our recovery vessel, Bob. 